woman come in the door, and an older woman, and she, by the way, she was dressed very conservatively. And she pointed at the Muslim sisters. She said, I want to know how come they're dressed like that. And I'm like, huh? Why are they dressed like that? And it shocked me. Again, I couldn't think. Because uh, it wasn't about the answer, it's about people being that rude, you know. And I said, well, excuse me, but what's wrong with the way that they look? She said, it's not logical. I said, you're logic. <laughs> she said, yes. I said, okay, then I'm going to ask you a question. Why are you dressed at all? <laughs> she got angry. She said, what? I said, why do you have any clothes on? Said, what? I said, well, how were you born? What were you wearing when you came out of your mother? How were you dressed? Let me help you. You were naked, nude, in the bus, no clothes, right? <laughs> She's like, ah. I said, now I'm going to ask you again. And by the way, she was wearing her, her dress come all the way down like this and down to her ankles and all the way up here. It was just like a Muslim dress in many ways. Really, it was. So I said, again, why are you dressed like that? And now she's angry. She said, modesty! I said, now ask these ladies why they're dressed like that. You'll get the exact same answer. The only difference is going to be it'll be modesty according to the one who created them instead of modesty according to something they made up. And the ladies went crazy. They thought that was fabulous. And the lady left. She stormed out. And when she did, the brother next to me said, that was my history teacher. I think I just failed. <laughs>